Some people younger than 65 who aren't health care workers are already getting the vaccine in our state. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live after finding out how that's even possible. Bridget, it's supposed to be health care workers and those 65 and older, correct? Yeah, Angela, that's right. More than 80% of COVID-related deaths in our state involve people who are 65 years and older, which is why they're part of that priority group. But I found out today how people who are not in that group are getting vaccinated. Hundreds of teachers received the vaccine this week in North Carolina, even ones younger than 65, like Michelle Shu. There's a sense of of security now and and just that we were able to take a step to protect ourselves. They signed up before the guidelines changed and Davie County honored their appointments. Some eastern communities have also allowed teachers to sign up. I think um, for those of us who are just ordinary folks in the community trying to understand is it my turn um, a lot of changes have happened over the past month. Right now, only healthcare workers and those 65 and up are eligible for the vaccine. Teachers are in the next group, which is essential workers. We have educators who are hopeful um, and looking forward to getting their vaccine. Um, we also have educators who are frustrated uh, because it is taking a long time. State leaders say they don't want counties to move on until recommended, but know some may be ready to sooner than others. The healthcare association hopes to see clear definitions of who's eligible and workflow improvements from the state. That next phase is going to open up to a much larger group of people than exist in the phases that we're in now. Health officials are working through the details of what, if any, paperwork will be required from employers to prove it's someone's turn for the vaccine. Yesterday, the state said that they were going to provide guidance by today's to some of those providers and different employers about how to know which groups will be next who falls in, under that category. I checked in with some of the surrounding providers and employers, school districts especially. They said they have not yet received any guidance. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.